Oh, man. I am Amber Shaper shocked that I cannot think of a joke for this episode. So this week, we fucking destroyed shit so hard. We had a fantastic week of raining. Uh, I came back from a month-long vacation due to Christmas as well as finals, and Big Crits did not disappoint me on my return. So basically, the raid was just ready, we were prepared, we were focused, and we were having fun. That's what the week was. The week was fun. This week of raiding was amazing. It was awesome. I have not had so much fun raiding in such a long time. Our raid composition changed pretty, like, a bit, but in a good way. And it showed. We're doing well, Dad. Chop us up. What was this? Kiki role playing now? This week, we went back into Terrace to get a reclear, so we killed some stuff on normal mode, we got the Lacey on Heroic, got her killed, awesome, one for one, that's important. Then we went to Heart of Fear, and we ended up killing Vizier, so two for two, they're heating up. And at the end of the night, well, rather at the end of the week, when we finally got to th our Thursday night, kind of a little bit of overtime, we killed Amber Shaper, so bam, we're on fire, fuck yeah, I'm doing awesome. Thinking maybe if I like, try to trick him into thinking I'm dead, maybe if like if once the echo of attenuation is dead, I just slash sleep for the rest of that phase while you guys deal with that MC platform, maybe that'll work. Imperial Vizier, that was a kind of a progression experience where it was a little bit like, it was, that was a pretty tough boss. It's really a mechanics fight and our group has always really suffered on fights that require some level of personal accountability really had our, our strategy fleshed out and we just need to practice and just have a, you know that one good pull. So on Vizier, um, a lot of the calls were being made by some kids too that we got recently promoted to officer. And you know it worked it was working out okay. Like he was doing a good job and all that stuff. Nothing was getting missed or anything like that. And so we had kind of a long process over the three or four days we did doing him where people would or had to learn the mechanic. And it's always interesting going into a fight and, and seeing people Learn at a different rate, I guess. It's a different type of dancing on the end. It's like hip hop. It's like the tango when you start, and it's like hip hop in the bass too. So furious. That's why furious really good at it. For those of you that don't know the fight, it's it's not bad. The the first phase where you're going from the different platforms isn't bad. It's not that hard. Basically, by the fourth night, we were uh, getting to phase three pretty consistently, but people were still dying to uh, attenuation in the last phase, because at that point you're dealing with two of them. And to be honest, some people just never got it. Essentially, you have to deal with two attenuates at once. One's from the boss, one's from the Echo. So you can handle this in two ways. You can kill the Echo, or you can just drag him off to the corner, have him spawn the Echo on one side of the room, then drag him to the other side of the fucking room. So you only have to deal with essentially one attenuation at once. What we did is you have to run away from the first guy doing it, and then run away from the second guy doing it, and kind of juke through the middle. It's like a Suzu wet dream, where you're in the middle and you're just screaming, Oh my god, the balls are everywhere! And Suzu's just above you, ha 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 ha, I'm teabagging you, yeah, balls everywhere. Um, and you're like, no, I'm not stony! We call it dancing. Um, but anyway. I wound up being the healer who was stuck healing the tank in the corner with the Echo. And I failed pretty spectacularly at attenuation during the kill. It's so we just got you from behind. Dude, yeah. especially when you're tanked, because you know that guy loves balls. I know. Yeah, balls are like my favorite thing. It's difficult, and you basically have to be a pussy, and you have to run away, and you have to just say, no, I don't want to DPS the boss, I need to dodge these balls. And it's really tough sometimes, because you gotta, you gotta keep your dick in your pants. And if you can't keep your dick in your pants, you're gonna die to the balls. So then I get battle res, and I battle res during the force and fucking verve, and the force and verve winds up killing me before I can get to a field. So now I've died twice. 
Then I get another battle res, because I'm important, I guess. And... But when I get the battle res, attenuation's still happening, so it's like, okay, I'll wait for attenuation to go away. And then once attenuation's gone, he's doing force and fucking burn, so it's like, okay, I'm not gonna fuck up like that again. So I stay down while Force and Verb is happening. Then once Force and Verb is over, there's fucking attenuate again! And so basically I'm dead for the entire rest of the phase. I'm just like, okay, well, they got it, so uh, I'll just stay down while they get the kill. And it ends up working out that it's not that difficult, but it's a little bit hairy when you first do it. We got it, so like, I'm just as happy as I can be that we even got the boss. Good job. Roll the fucking ball! Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dead! Yeah. Yes! Nice. So, Thursday comes around, and we spend uh, most of the night working on Heroic Ember Shaper. The difficulty isn't really in anything new they add to the fight, it's that they take the existing mechanics and they tune them to be more difficult. Which doesn't sound too bad, except that it's mechanics where on normal difficulty you don't really need to understand them perfectly. Hey Tuna, if you want next time that you're in the construct, I can watch, and then afterward I'll give you some constructive criticism. Time, you're Die. a bad person. Like, that I, was, I, you're I a bad person. Time. Honestly, the kill probably would have come a lot faster if um, we had done the strategy change that we did in the last hour much sooner. We didn't want to cheese it in any way because we didn't want some strategy that we used to cheese it to get nerfed or something and then us have to learn the fight all over again. The When we changed the strategy it made quite a difference. We're getting so close at the end of the night but we're, we're going in and we're spending too much time in phase two and we, so we adjust that and people keep messing up and people are starting to get frustrated. We can't kind of grab everyone by the chest hair and like rip them through a fight by sheer force of will. So what Semi suggested, like, I think before we even started this fight, was that the tank construct would alternate between hitting the boss and hitting the monstrosity ad. And of course, I was totally for this once we started doing it, because uh, a lot of my healing comes from damage, so the monstrosity taking more damage means that I do more healing! So basically, he got... He he died because the boss threw Panda at him. Oh, I always thought Panda yeah. was, like, heroic leaping onto me. And it was, like, stunning like me. Jerk. I was like, Panda! Yeah, that Damn makes it. a lot more sense. Like, what? Why would I, why would I do that? <laughs> and so keep in mind that the same fucking thing happened last fucking week on Leishi, where we were fucking it up, and Semi had a way he wanted to do it, and so we're like, fuck it, we'll do it Semi's way, and we do it Semi's way, and it works. So, the moral of the story is that Semi is always right about everything. Fucking oh, shit scum asking for fucking flasks, you kidding me? Alright, let's kill it. Let's go. I came unprepared. Oh, yeah. We're coming apparently, so let's go. It's fine. Just, cool. just do it, we don't need people to The kill was actually a terrible, terrible pull. It's about 15 minutes after raid ends, and a certain hunter, who will remain nameless, <coughs> um, will, uh, they face pull. The boss. Asteria had her mic muted, like, all day. And so, she's being quiet. And so, she's not, like, the most talkative writer, but sometimes she'll say something. And, um, anyway, on this random pull, we were just waiting. And was like, oh, hold on, wait for this last thing. And then out of nowhere, she just ninja pulls it. We were like, well, what the fuck? Anyway, but, yeah. So we are like, okay, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter because the phase one DPS doesn't matter at all. The only thing I can think of is, oh, Fuck, we are so fucked. Just wipe it. This is stupid. But no, the raid leaders are like, let's let's keep going. We don't need a pre-pot or anything at the beginning of the boss. So I'm like, fine, my meters are fucked anyway, so I'll just, I guess I'll play. Uh, I'm not going to do very well, but, you know, whatever. One of our cleanest first kills of the boss. And it all happened because of a face pull hunter. Get it! Come on! So all in all, we had a GM um, switch from Sark to Suzushiro. We had a new officer promotion in Sunkistuna. We had a couple people new promoted to our loot council. 
we had an officer um, velocity that was away for a while and only just got back the Thursday night when we killed Amber Shaper. It was an interesting experience, especially given uh, our roster changes uh, after Lei Shi, having to reinvent our raid environment, in a sense. And we have been doing excellent. <laughs> so I'm really happy and looking forward to our progression through the rest of the tier. And like I think we are going to start going on a tear. Um, uh, like we're really starting to mesh well together. Just want awesome. to apologize for messing up the class for so many oh times. Oh my Christ! <laughs> <Too long. laughs> you should so apologize bad, for your fucking DPS. Yeah. We killed two new heroic bosses this week because we were like in this upbeat attitude. We were happy, having fun, having a good time. It's great. It was a great fucking week. We got two new heroic bosses down. We're 12 to 16 heroic right now. We still got plenty of time until the next tier comes out. I think everybody that's here now and that's still here um, has really, like, we formed like a really solid team, I think. I'll do what I can to help the raid. And I think that's the mentality that us as a whole raid has now. Everyone is doing what they need to do to help the raid. I think it went really, really, really well. And it was, uh, it was very exciting for me to personally to, uh, to see us come through a little bit of a shit storm and come out the other side with a with a new boss kill like no problem those who stay will be champions